Okay. Uh, haters need not apply. I know I have a big old mess here. But this thing right here, it was leaking all this oil and something sticky anyway. Uh, had it where I couldn't find instructions. This is a 2013 GMC terrain. And this thing was leaking all over. You can see where it's still got some traces of it. And the the lift would try to go up and then act like it was blocked by something and go straight back down. And so I found out was this thing leaking wherever it is in there. Grease of some kind. It's very sticky. So I went to Amazon and uh, found the part. Came in this box here. It's an AC Delco part. Um, I don't see. I don't see what the part number is though, but it was Amazon warehouse deal I had it for a hundred dollars. And I was afraid that I couldn't uh, put it in myself. I heard from uh, the dealership that if I brought my own part that they would put the labor in. Well, $100 diagnostic fee plus $240 to install it. So that's $340 there before taxes. So this is the old part. I had to kind of figure it out myself. But uh, this thing right here it has clips right here. So what I had to do was, there's this thin little lip here, and I had to pull that away and use a screwdriver, and those little parts right there were the openings, use a flathead screwdriver to get those apart, and so I could pull that through. This uh, came with the new one, so it was like that. And these had uh, these little half circle moon clips. So you had to have a screwdriver and pop right there. See, it's, it was just so sticky with where it's got that. And yeah, it was keeping it from popping open and then it closed right back down so I just reassembled it and made sure that it's working again I know it's a mess here that's why I said hey need not apply but uh the new one right here um let's see there's the it's a AC Delco thing made in Poland so that's what it is you have time to write that down if you can. Uh, so there's one moon clip. And then the other moon clip. But this whole thing right here, you can still see remnants of it. Still a little sticky. I had to use... Uh, Eventually, I had to use this oops remover tar and sealant because it was like tar. And just go all the way down. All right, yeah, uh, couldn't really get those panels back together. It was perfect. Those plastic things just broke, it just bend all crap. But um, what I first did was up here. I used a Phillips head screwdriver, took that off, and then there's a, pan, a little seven millimeter bolt there that I took off. And I couldn't really get these back on too well, but they take this star screw. Uh, sorry, you see in the ground. Where'd I put that? Ah, it's right here. Alright. 
so I had to use this one. Uh, it's a it says 40 on it. But, um, trying to get this to focus. But it's one of these small one, little star. And there's two of them right here that holds this panel on. Uh, there are some clips here I had to pull out. So I got all this. Um, I was afraid with, you see how long that cable is, I was afraid. From what someone told me, I had to take off the headliner and go all the way over there, but apparently that's not the case. Yeah, I can see my panels. Not perfect, but hey, at least I only had to pay $100 for the part and just my free time. I so I had to pay $340. But behind here, um, they have these clips here. Um, these, of course, are one time use. They have like a uh, zip tie to them. But the cable comes through here and then comes down this way. It's got those uh, zip tie clips are attached to the new version. Yeah, I can't. Maybe I'll do that later. I'll try to figure out how to do that. And then it goes down here and there is a pump that sits right here. It's held together by, uh, let's see, what screwdriver I use? All right, put it on there. Uh, I want to say I used the 10 millimeter. Yeah, 10 millimeter. Um, I used a ratchet. <laughs> And you'll notice there's this black cover here inside. One screw up here, one screw on the side, and one screw at the very bottom. And that one you have to kind of feel for. I had to use that ratchet and kind of feel for it to get it loose. But then uh, there's a black box that's in there. And I found out that you have to physically separate it. It's got a, uh, a cover held in by four tabs and it's got gray foam you got to pull the gray foam out and there'll be a little cylinder there that also has a uh, like it's got a black cable and white cable connected to it of course you also have to disconnect the cigarette lighter right here and you have to disconnect that cable there the black and white cable that's connected to this it's kind of a pain in the butt so I don't really want to open it and show you but so then I had to take off the foam uh, pull down the canister which has the hydraulic fluid and the uh, the little black and white connector which of course is the motor and I had to pull the top foam up with the uh, it's kind of like uh, how it is is you have the two cables that come in down like this and you have a case it's kind of like got a t-shape to it where they come in and then it's a circular cover so I had to pull the cover up past the cable and that foam piece I had to push up past these cables and that allowed me to get to these so uh, you basically have to kind of prime apart a little bit and spring back together. And so how it is is we got quick connects. So 
the box itself is kind of opposite of what this is. So this would connect to that and that would connect to this practically. And so that's how you quick disconnect those is that you kind of just, once you get the foam and that top cover out of the way, you basically have to just kind of pry it out a little bit to get them to disconnect. But hydraulic fluid did not shoot out or anything, so that was a good part. And then I just had to run it all the way out, up here, out this way. And of course the installation is reverse. I had to take these cables and shove them back in there and then push that closed. Uh, these are real easy to put on. You have to take the moon clip off to take it out, but when you're putting this on, you just have to use kind of brute force and snap it in there because that ring will catch. So, where I, yeah, here it is. So I had to pull this out in order to get this detached, but when attaching it, attaching this new one, I just kept that on there, kept that moving on, because once you get it off, once you pull these off, it doesn't seem like it'll go back on. So keeping these moon clips on, it's already got grease already inside. So when you put the new one on, you just snap like that and push that in and it'll go in and those moon clips will hold on to it. So like I said, when you're taking it off, you just pry these moon clips off and then they're practically no good after that. But when you're installing the new one, don't mess with the moon clips. Just go ahead and snap them on. Oh, and then run it through. And it's our, these, uh, they're here with a pain in the butt, but you gotta take them out however you can and then put the new ones in, put it all back together and ready to rock and roll. All right. Every day. Bye.